We know, we know that this can happen this time of year. We've had all kinds of weather for the parade. Winter weather advisory in effect for Western Connecticut. Why just Western Connecticut since we are all getting snow? That's where some of the higher totals will be. West of Hartford, anywhere between two to as much as four inches of snow is possible. So let's time this out for you. We're dry all during the day tomorrow. We even start the day off with a little bit of sunshine. Then we'll see increasing clouds. Heading into Friday night, we'll see that that snow developing between 7 to 10. It may begin briefly as a mix or even rain, especially along the shoreline and in some valley locations. But we do think everybody changes over to snow. Then heading into Saturday morning, we'll see the heaviest through around 7 or 8 a.m. And then a few lingering flurries or light scattered snow showers. It's all gone as we head into Saturday afternoon. Once the sun comes up, though, and you know it hits those roads, things should improve quickly if there are still some some leftover slippery spots and while we do have a weather watch alert in effect again I wanted to really focus it on especially the western half of the state where there may be more issues on the roads where more accumulation is possible noticing on the satellite and radar this is the system that we are tracking initially we thought it would end up passing its energy off to a new storm too far to the south to really bring us much in the way of snow but the latest trend has been to bring it closer to Connecticut which is why compared to yesterday we've increased the totals by about an inch on either side. Uh, today's high right around 50 degrees snow, kind of far from our mind. The average high from this time of year is 45. And there's still, still a wind gust being reported up around 20 miles per hour for the New Haven area. I say it like that with exasperation because it has just been so windy all week long. It'll be nice to kind of get a break from that tomorrow. Low temperatures tonight falling back through the 20s. Tomorrow looks like a nice day. We'll start off with some sunshine then we'll see increasing clouds and temperatures temperatures will be very similar to today, climbing in the mid 40s to right around 50 degrees as we head through the afternoon. Then here comes the snow and again, maybe even some mix or rain initially, especially along the shoreline or valley locations. But where we change over to snow fastest and maybe even kind of right out of the gate, that's where we have some of those higher totals that are forecast. It's snowing everywhere midnight, one, two o'clock in the morning, still at 7 a.m. But notice shortly after that, we start to see things wind down. This is 1030. We're keeping a close eye on parade time where we will also be dry. So we're forecasting two to four inches of snow for Western Connecticut. I keep saying Western Connecticut, but this is really like the Western half of Connecticut, except for the immediate shoreline, a coating to an inch or two likely there and a coating to an inch or two for the Hartford area, Tolland, Wyndham County as well. And there could be a really sharp cutoff. One of the things that makes this a challenging forecast is that temperatures will be so marginal. They'll be around or even above freezing initially, which is why we might not even begin as snow in some areas. So we're going to lose some of the snow that falls to those temperatures. But if you can get a good burst of snow to come down, you can overcome temperatures that are above freezing. We saw that with our last system as well. And we think that some of those heavier snow bands are going to be even more likely in western areas. Parade time, 11 a.m. We're looking at a temperature right around 40 degrees. That's what you'll need to dress for and heading into Sunday, we're looking at highs close to 50. We get to push pause, get a breather, and then we're already watching the next storm system. And that will likely be for Monday night, although we could start to see some conditions head downhill during the day on Monday. It's looking like Monday night into Tuesday for a potential nor'easter. There's a lot of possible things on the table for this one, and someone's going to get whacked by it. The question is, who gets the heaviest snow, the wind, the heavy rain, and the track will determine our final impact. But either way, it looks like we are going to be affected by the storm in some way, which is why we also wanted to alert you about that for early next week, guys. Okay, Rachel.